Good morning. Let's do this. This is the uh, good morning, or the good life meditation. <laughs> the good morning meditation. Uh, good life meditation for the 25th day of uh, November 2016. Three things to say. Happy Thanksgiving to the United States. That be Thanksgiving in Japan. Yes, it is Thanksgiving Day in Japan. Not quite the same, but it is. And also, happy birthday to my daughter. So I just dropped uh, the girls off, um, Emily and her two friends off at uh, for for six a.m. Uh, shopping here at the. Um, outlets in orange so I'm gonna drive home and I'll do my little meditation as I as I drive home so the, this is a routine that I do every each and every day sometimes in my head sometimes out loud sometimes in front of the camera and the real motivation for using the camera is that it causes me to do a better job I'm I do I take it more seriously when when I have you guys or at least the lens to talk to so let's do this. Um, a reminder of my uh, objectives and principles as I begin this day. There are, first part is the uh, affirmation of human uh, rights, human and civil rights, which is my reminder that uh, individuals have rights as do uh, the smaller groups in our society and that these individuals and groups should be protected ahead of the interests of the larger group. So there are times that uh, it would be easy to trample on the little guy and the little groups in, in, in the interest of the larger group. And uh, it's a mark of civilization's advancement that we um, identify ways to uh, preserve, preserve those rights as distinct from privileges. Whereas privileges are, uh, are really rather earned such as the privilege to drive a license, to drive a car, or to own a, own property, things like that. Whereas rights are, as the word is, inalienable. Next is the uh, three objectives. Let me get in the right lane here. The correct lane. The first is the objective of the development and maintenance of good, sound life principles. That's what I do every morning when I do this exercise. The next is, and these are very important in order, as these are the guiding, the guiding the lane line, so to speak, that help me to keep keep fit between the lines, so to speak. The next uh, principle is the next objective is the uh, cultivation of good emotional reactions to the uh, events of life, particularly to the difficult events of life, so that when uh, things happen in an unexpected way, when life throws me a, a curveball, or I hit one of those speed bumps in life that I can uh, maneuver that successfully without uh, falling to the weight, without, uh, you know, flying off the handle, losing my temper, losing my uh, balance and equanimity, but uh, be able to uh, maneuver through the challenging moments as with the uh, less challenging. Let's see, is there still light? Hey, there's enough light. I don't even need that light. <laughs> Oh, here we go. So I want to be over there. I'm on the wrong side. Here we go. Let me get in the correct lane. Very good for the freeway. The next principle is the uh, print is the uh, principle of nature with the sub principle of paradigm. The principle of nature simply states that everything in the universe has some particular. No way. Did I talk about that? No, I haven't. I haven't got on the principles yet. So I just went over the uh, three. <laughs> Three objectives. Let's get on now to the uh, principles. The first is the is the atomic principle, which is this, is an observation that the universe is, consists of uh, bits and pieces, Lego, if you like, atomic uh, uh, atomic Lego that are put that are used to uh, build uh, everything that we that we know, including you and me, which are made of compounds and then molecules and then. Uh, uh, atoms and subatomic particles and all the way down in the end energy and a reminder this uh, principle is a reminder that uh, that's basically all we are there's nothing more permanent to the uh, to the mix than that and that if we're going to uh, live a good life we better uh, um, keep that in mind that our dissolution is imminent death and the uh, 
reminder of death is a constant theme throughout this. And I may even, I'm tempted to add a new principle at the end uh, to remind myself further of that. I'll see what I do, see what, how it looks when I get to the end, see how the landscape looks. The next uh, principle is the principle of nature and the sub-principle of paradigm. Now I've gotten to that. Everything in the universe has some particular nature. And it's a worthwhile thing to keep that in mind and to remember to look out for the nature of things to in order to better understand what how and to, to have better expectations about how they will operate or or behave if they're if they're actually uh, actors likewise we have our own nature each of us and it's good to recognize what that is so that we can live a life in accordance with our own nature sub principle of paradigm which is the uh, perspective of, of agents agents being uh, uh, living, living, uh, li living bits and pieces, whatever's alive, has that perspective. Even inanimate objects have, even even not inanimate objects, even uh, non sentient, non conscious, as far as we know, objects such as plants have some perspective on the world. It may be uh, simply a perspective of uh, of occupying space and growing into space and working to uh, preserve that such as sending sending up plants sending out chemicals to uh, block the uh, the root structure of or the, even the branches of other plants or uh, you know sending out thorns to to dissuade uh, uh, herb, 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 herbaceous uh, grazers or insects it's a perspective in a way likewise individuals we all have our own perspective and that perspective informs us of uh, the world and gives us, uh, helps us to develop a, a, an operating system, a way that we uh, make choices through life and with the way that we uh, do things. And keeping in mind that, especially humans, each of us as individuals has this perspective. Likewise, all the other uh, societies, cultures, subgroups, families, the like do as well. That's worthwhile to keep in mind. Well, I'm going to run out of time. I better go fast. Next is the uh, principle of uh, uh, maturity, which has two sub principles one of uh, wisdom and uh, fortitude. Maturity is that quality that comes of, uh, of experience and the willingness to and the ability to carry on despite difficult things. There we have wisdom is the former and the fortitude is the latter. And you can uh, the way you can gain wisdom is by uh, developing, uh, the way you can gain maturity is by uh, looking at life honestly in a, and uh, taking in the challenging moments and especially our mistakes and uh, reminding, remembering to uh, remembering those, and uh, adding them to our repertoire of understanding, so that we don't make the same mistakes again and live a more informed life. Similarly, uh, the ability to exercise fortitude through difficult moments helps us to behave in a more mature manner. We really become powerful when we are both wise and uh, strong. And uh, we can then uh, avoid problems with, with, by, by, uh, by, uh, through our wisdom and uh, suffer well such issues when we, do, when we do encounter them through our fortitude. Next is um, the social principle, which is the uh, observation that human beings are social animals. We need one another and that our very best living is, uh, so, is, is towards social ends when we're doing things for the greater good. Some challenging moments here. The next principle is the principle of temperance, which is the uh, ability to restrain our consumption, not just of uh, uh, material items, such as food, drink, water, all these things, but also of, uh, you know, I'm gonna swing by there. You know, not go home first. Uh, but also of um, things like uh, em emotions as well, our ability to temper our consumption of the emotions as they arise. We just nibble on them to sample what they are so that we know better how, where they come, once they came and then the act in better, better, make better actions and reserved and restrained actions in, accord, in, accord, in accordance, accordingly. <laughs> so next is uh, the principle of the agency and indifference. Agency refers to uh, the perspective again, uh, almost like a paradigm in a way, but agency is, is the, not, it's not quite the same. It's the, it's the fact of life. Not, that doesn't come out right. An agent is anything that's alive. You and I are agents. 
Uh, dogs and cats are agents. All animals are agents. Even bacteria are agents. Likewise, plants are agents. Basically, anything that uh, enforces, enacts its will upon the world and uh, reproduces in some way and carries on. In the capacity, rocks and the water and the wind are not agents. Although well, wind, it's funny how wind has those characteristics, huh? And even uh, some natural substances do. Maybe that's how gods are born. Because we uh, begin to ascribe, we anthropomorphize non-agents with uh, the characters, characteristic of agents. Ah, it's interesting. Something to think about later. Oh, when you subtract out the agents, what we're left with is uh, indifference, which is the rest of the world. You know, the, the landscape of the moon, uh, you know, is without agents and uh, full of indifference. It doesn't give a dang about us. It's, uh, uh, it's malevolent for the most part and, uh, uh, to, to us. We, uh, we occupy a very a select niche where we actually can live here and uh, surrounded by agency all around and just we're sm or smothered, sm surrounded by indifference all around we're also surrounded by agents but it's like a, a thin veneer of agency all around us some of us live our whole lives like dropping my daughter and her friends off at the mall they're surrounded by agency and what I call the artifacts of agency the stuff that they create I gotta move fast now I'm running out of time the next is the best seat in the house which is right here right now viewing all of this and a desire to not want to want to be anywhere else or not want to want to be doing anything else or not want to want to be anyone else but just to be all right with the moment that I'm in right now all the while striving to be even better the next is uh, the best seat in the house well I just said that. the next is reason Reason is the governing faculty, the ability to uh, look at the world, itemize, categorize, look at the facts, uh, make sense of them, organize them into arguments, syllogisms, if you like, that then yield the results and conclusions, and then measure the world to see if those are true. And if not, then we go back and revisit our facts and arguments. And if so, then hold them tentatively and ask others to help and redo our testing. And we come up with a good understanding of the world. It's the best way to understand the world as it really is. To know as many true things and to not uh, uh, hold on to anything that's false. Next is uh, uh, virtue, which is the purpose of life. Virtue is the ability to, uh, or no, virtue is, as I define it, uh, living life in such a way that we are uh, improving the well-being of as many as possible through objective things such as the improvement of living conditions, improvement of uh, education, communication, all these different things that make life better, including not just for us, but for the other agents that inhabit this planet with us. Next is um, the path of wildness, which is uh, our me methodology that I have, a method that I have to break free when I'm stuck, which is to, uh, when I'm stuck in life, or literally, in, in fact, or figuratively, in my mind, or in fact, I will uh, look, gather as many facts as I can in the time that I have available, and then look at them honestly, and then if I can't come up, formulate an, an objective decision to go, and I'm kind of stuck still, then I just go with my gut feeling, lunge myself out into the direction where I'm headed, with an understanding that I'm not fully informed, and I may make a mistake, and may fail, and may die. But still, the inertia of motion forward and the fact that I live in the first world relatively safe means that I'll probably be all right. And the fact that I'm moving forward again uh, is, is, a, is a success in itself. The next is uh, the um, <clears throat> today's time, no, no, it's willful time management. I'm going to go through the day today uh, managing my time uh, uh, as though this were my last day. So I will carefully plot out the day in terms of my thought plan and my action plan, which I'll come to in just a moment. And the last one, I'm going to go ahead and throw this in. I haven't decided if I'm going to call this the long dark night or oblivion or something like that. But it's just simply a reminder to myself that, um, that there is no good reason to think that there's anything after this life. It does indeed appear that as soon as we're, uh, we die, that's, that's the end. Or we dissolve away, our atoms dissolve away and go back out into the universe. Nothing Nothing less, nothing more, but uh, the uh, the orchestration, the the symphony of uh, of of who I am that's going on in this head right now, this gray matter, will be over, to never again repeat, to never to not carry on. These are not proclamations of absolute certainty. These are basically using my reason to having looked at the evidence or lack thereof 
and making a, a, a determination that that appears to be the case. I better, I better enjoy, I better live now. I better live well. Finally, wrapping up uh, the, today's thought plan. I'll go fast because I'm almost home. One, uh, I'm going to collect my thoughts before dawn, when I'm doing, which I'm doing now, before breakfast. Two, uh, compile them over lunch. Three, uh, record them before dinner. Four, die before bedtime. Today's action plan. Uh, I'm going to uh, I just took my girls, my daughter and her friends to the uh, mall. I'm basically on standby all day. So I'll go home, have some breakfast, uh, uh, work, maybe upload work on this, and then uh, stand by the phone. I'll go do my swim. I'll probably try to do maybe 70 or 80 laps today in the pool. I've got the day off. Um, and then I'm gonna, maybe I'll tidy up the house and as the girls need me, I'll, I'll be at their beck and call. Um, and I'm going to uh, do the best I can today. And I'm going to try to read a little bit. I'm trying to become more, use better use of my time. I don't want to, I really want to get away from all things uh, social media. I left Facebook some time back for the most part. I'm still uploading things on my Softy Papa gig, but over the Softy Papa page. But for the most part, left, the left Facebook. And I really, the willful time management, I really like to make better use of my time. There are so many great stories, novels, so much nonfiction to read. I can become more a reader. So I'm going to bring my book to the pool, perhaps. Wow, I got it done in under, uh, under 17 minutes. I, it can be done. And I added in a new uh, uh, a new principle, even. Maybe that bodes well for the future, adding more. Because I have more than I want to add as well. <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining me. Have a, have a good life. Take care.